Welcome back, Hurricane Season 2020, the series. Today we're covering tools and why you might need them. Coming up next. Welcome back to Hurricane Season 2020 and today we're going to be covering tools and uh, um, some different things here, battery powered regular tools. Um, my name is Charles, this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners and let's get going. We're going to start with this bucket over here first. I've done some video, I did a video on this and um, uh, very easy to put together. You can get the bucket at Home Depot. You can buy these bags. Um, you know, you can get the bucket anywhere really. And these bags you can get online, Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, Walmart even sells them. Um, they're very handy. Um, the best thing is if it's an emergency situation and it's during a hurricane or something and you need to fix something or something goes wrong and anything else, um, if you have one of these buckets and you set it up so you know exactly where your tools are and you can just reach down and grab the tool that you need uh, instead of, you know, fumbling through, say, your toolbox, a drawer, uh, did I leave it lay on a shelf, uh, you know, because the tool that you need is the one you can't find. We all know that. When you're going looking for a tool, tape measure, whatever, you never can find it. So if you get one of these and you can get it organized, you know, and save you time in an emergency situation, uh, that would really be very helpful to you. And they're very inexpensive. Um, they do have some really nice bags nowadays. I've had this one for uh, 15 years. Um, but, you know, they got some really nice bags where a lot of this stuff will attach to the bag and it's on the outside. It's just incredible. It's whatever you want to spend on this one. You can go inexpensive and you can spend a lot of money on it. Um, second thing we're gonna talk about is uh, battery powered power tools. Now, I have a Roby set, has a whole bunch of uh, you know battery powered tools and stuff in it. And anything that's battery charged, you know, even if you can only afford to go out and go to Walmart and buy a Black & Decker, it usually comes with this little kit here, you know, and a charging cord, and you can pick them up for, you know, under 20 bucks and, you know, they do work and you know, you'll be perfectly happy. Um, I got my kit you know, when I bought my house years ago and I've put them to the test more than once. Um, with, with these you can buy, you know, if, if say the batteries are starting to go or whatever, I have bought replacements, you can get replacements for them. Even though it's an old set, you still can get the replacement batteries um, online. You just have to research for it. Um, but you want to make sure before a hurricane that all this type of stuff is charged up and ready to go. And this way here, um, I'm not a big fan if I have to go out and hammer something in the middle of a hurricane, if it's real windy or whatever, I'd rather have a screw gun where I can just zip it and go. You know, if a piece of plywood blew off your window or whatever, and you got to go out there and try to, you know, get it to stay or something, funnel around with a hammer and a nail and it, no, just go with the screw gun. It's so much easier. Um, plus you can get, you know, you get saws off. So like if you had to cut a, a, a tree branch, you know, came through your window or something like that. And, you know, you could use this real quick to cut that sucker right off and, you know, then go on about repairing the window with hopefully you know, like a piece of plywood if we had to use plastic or something. You want to make sure that you have different types of screws for different things, um, different types of nails for different things. Um, so you wanna make sure that you have a, a stock of that um, always on hand. Uh, probably most people out there, most guys, you probably have all this stuff in your garage anyways. You know, most of us do, you know. Um, another quick thing that you may wanna make sure that you have, duct tape. Duct tape is a savior there are so many uses for duct tape it's not even funny we could do a three hour video on duct tape you know but that is just the essential staple to any toolkit is a roll of duct tape um, another thing paracord and I get this through uh, tough grid right through Amazon 
and I'll pull up that company, Tough Grid. Now, I'm not getting paid to push their product, um, anything like that, sponsored or anything else. Um, I buy all their, their paracord. Their paracord is really great. They have good prices on it. Um, this is a 200 feet. I just got this the other day because this is considered a non-essential item. And um, I ordered it three weeks ago and I got it uh, just the other day. Um, but that company is great. It's all made in America, which I like. And um, they'll take really good care of you. If you get something you don't like it or whatever and you let them know, they'll, they'll take real good care of you and get you a refund or replace your product if there's a problem with it. Um, but this can come in handy for all different types of stuff. This is, um, this particular one is a 750 pound test. Um, so if you needed to tie something off, if you, if you, whatever, you know, I mean, it's always good just to have some paracord. Now they sell it in, uh, 50 feet, hundred feet, 200 and you know, and up, you know, you can, you can get a big, huge spool if you want to spend the money. Um, I think this was... I think it was like 20 some odd bucks, you know, because paracord isn't cheap, you know. But something you can do, a little tip and trick I'm going to show you right now is, I got one of these, my daughter bought me this years ago. Now this is a fan that goes inside of your tent. This is back when I used to tent camp. And what, you, what happens is there's a magnet and it goes on the outside and you put this up and it sticks right to this. So you have a fan inside of your tent, which was great. I mean, to have air in there was, you know, it was unbelievable. And it does have a light and everything that's on it. And, but what you can do in an emergency situation, um, and you still can buy these, you know, I've seen them online, um, I've seen them in Walmart. Um, you can take some of your paracord and they all come with the hook. And you take this and you put this over your bed, okay? You know, cut off as much as you need. You may have to put either a nail in the wall or a hook in the ceiling or something. And if you hang this over your bed and turn it on and you get some air blowing on you if the power's out and you can get a good night's sleep, you're golden. So that's just a quick little trick and tip. So my name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And like I said in my other videos, uh, none of the stuff that's on this table is quote, essential. So you may be able to pick up, you know, some of these supplies and everything right now um, before hurricane season starts rolling around. Um, you know, springtime rolls around and you get into summer, especially in the north, you know, you get everybody starting to go back to work as far as contractors and things like that, you know, and these type of things start going up in price. You still can get these at Walmart really cheap and, um, you know, your duct tape and that kind of stuff. But until next time, I will catch you all on the flip side.